Tonight, St. Louis police are still looking for these five young suspect in this chilling photo. The gun toting teens are wanted in connection with a deadly mass shooting downtown more than a week ago. New tonight, our Robert Townsend is live outside police headquarters with reaction and the latest on the search. Robert. Hey there, Ann. You know, tonight those gun carrying teens are still somewhere out there. Meantime, community leaders have plenty to say about this. This disturbing and chilling surveillance photo is the talk of the town. It shows five teenage boys holding high powered guns and semi automatics. Two of the teens appear to be smiling. St. Louis police called them suspects in this mass shooting at a downtown office party more than a week ago. Those young men's fathers and mothers and whoever care for them, I know that they did not raise them to be like that. 17-year-old Mikhail Moore was shot and killed. 11 other teens wounded during the shooting. And my heart goes out to everyone or anyone that have lost their lives or that have been injured or impacted. It's been three days since police released the stunning photo of the young suspects. And while a spokesperson for Crime Stoppers says they have received numerous tips, police have not made any arrests and no one has turned the teens in. There's a lot of families that don't even feel safe talking to the police. Farrakhan Shagog is the founder of Young Voices with Action Incorporated. For the past 11 years, the nonprofit has mentored, offered safe spaces, and steered teens out of trouble. Shagog offers this to anyone who knows these teens pictured in this troubling photo. If there's a, a parent, a, a father, a sister, an aunt, and feel as if though they don't know which way to go, there's community members that they can trust and talk to. You can't cure violence with hot dogs. Um, you have to cure violence with anti-poverty programs. Tori Russell is the director of the Grassroots Group International Black Freedom Alliance. In the past two months, they and other concerned groups hit the streets of St. Louis in hopes of reaching teens before they turn to this. So if you don't get to the root of the problem of violence, um, you'll end up curing the symptoms and not the cause. Police ask anyone who knows where those teens are to call Crime Stoppers. Again, that number is 866-371-TIPS. A $5,000 reward is now being offered in this case. We're live downtown. I'm Robert Townsend, 5 on your side.